things that you should do to prepare for a home inspection. Well, the person selling the house, obviously we'd like to get into the attic. So if there's stuff that's uh, covering that attic access, we'd like to get in there. Crawl space, same thing. Um, if there are unmentionables or things around there that um, you don't want people uh, to be able to see, you might want to put those things away. Um, if uh, you have things that are running and, and, and it's a sensitive thing, um, washers, dryers, um, uh, dishwashers, things like that, put those things away, meaning the stuff that's inside of there so that if we were to run those things, uh, we're not um, interfering with whatever your routine or whatever is. Um, that's probably about it. Obviously, we don't want dogs and cats inside of rooms. We don't have to, so we can get in there or at least understand that they're uh, kenneled up or things like that. Um, we'd like to know if there are things that we need to be careful of. So I've had instances where people don't normally use a dishwasher and the dishwasher doesn't work because it leaks on the floor. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, why don't you tell us that don't run the dishwasher because it's going to run on the floor. We don't know. So we're obviously going to check it. And when we do, if it pours on the floor, now we got to go take care of it. Uh, or if, um, there's something that isn't quite uh, ready yet and you know that it's not ready, just tell us, hey, it's not ready yet. Uh, or even the utilities for that matter. I have had that happen before too, where people, uh, the power has been turned off or the water's been turned off or they transferred the utilities because it was an estate type deal. Well, okay, if none of those things are there, it's gonna be a little tough for us to check everything out. All right. Thank you.